Mortgage rates are going down. Home prices are falling. The housing supply is decreasing and the population of Canada is booming. High interest rates have cooled the market for now, but what happens when a plethora of new home buyers enter the real estate market and find a systemic housing crisis? Welcome to real estate in 2024, when the bottom of the market is predicted by many to occur this year. Industry experts predict a return to peak prices if the Bank of Canada starts reducing interest rates, which looks pretty likely. Join me as we break down the driving factors in real estate and how they'll affect home buyers here in Nanaimo, British Columbia. Two years of interest rate hikes from the Bank of Canada have decreased real estate prices and total sales while increasing the mortgage payments of many Canucks, but this is forecasted to change in mid-2024. Home buyers are in a holding pattern as they wait for home prices and borrowing costs to decrease. Prices have started to come down, but how much have they fallen in a place like Nanaimo? In 2023, the median sale price of a home fell to a little over $800,000 for a detached house, around $425,000 for a condo, and about $560,000 for a townhome. As you can see, there has been a drop since the peak in 2022, but we're still well above prices in 2021 and 2020. Boring costs have been unchanged since July 12, 2023, when the Bank of Canada increased interest rates to 5%. In three subsequent interest rates announcements on September 6, October 25th, and December 6 of last year, Tiff Macklem, the Governor of the Bank of Canada, declined to increase interest rates any further. Tiff has cited that mortgage renewals as one of the biggest reasons for the central bank holding their line in the most recent interest rate decisions. But this is predicted to change in mid-2024. Randy Bartlett, senior economist with Desjardins, and James Orlando, director of economics at TD Bank, expects that we'll see interest rate drops on April 10th, when the Bank of Canada is scheduled to meet for the third time in 2024. Economist Claire Fan with RBC expects there to be a drop in the second quarter of 2024 as well. There are many other financial industries that are predicting this, and it is already being reflected in mortgage offerings from other banks. Just one year ago, new five-year fixed mortgages were being offered well above 6%, depending on the applicant. Now banks are already offering mortgages below 5%, and that's likely going to continue throughout 2024. Royce Menendez, head of MicroStrategy for Desjardins, says that we're not going back to zero, but we could see rates following about 2.5% in terms of the Bank of Canada's policy rate. These forecasts are being taken into consideration by major Canadian banks and reflected in current mortgage offerings. Borrowing costs and housing prices are not the only thing decreasing. The housing supply continues to contract as seen in housing starts posted by Stats Canada. A housing start refers to the start of construction on a new residential housing unit, which helps forecast the availability for future homes. In 2023, housing starts dropped 22% attributed to the higher cost of borrowing, which affects builders as much as home buyers. Current homeowners are also sitting out this phase of the real estate market to the dismay of many home buyers. The increase in mortgage rates during 2022 and 2023 was predicted to bring a flood of properties to sale due to insolvency. Many, including the Bank of Canada, have pointed out though that the delinquency rates are still at record lows. However, the Canadian Mortgage and Housing Corporation stated that there was still an increase in mortgage arrears for more than 30 days in mid-2023. The final factor we need to discuss is the increasing population of Canada, which is primarily due to immigration. Canada's population in October 2023 was estimated at 40,500,000. This was the highest quarterly growth rate since 1957. In the first three quarters of 2023, Canada's population grew by 1,030,000 people. Of the over 1 million Canadians welcomed, 96% of that growth was due to international immigration. The increase in population is due to continue in 2024 and 2025. And although this adds pressure to the housing sector, we need people like this in Canada to supplement the decreasing natural population growth. Vancouver Island and Nanaimo are experiencing unbelievable population increases as many Canadians flock to this temperate paradise. Between 2017 and 2022, Vancouver Island's population grew by 6.5%. Nanaimo's growth far surpasses these figures, with growth exceeding 10%, putting it as one of Canadians' top five growing cities. 
This is slated to continue as Nanaimo's current population is around 100,000 people and projected to reach 140,000 in 2046. Home prices, borrowing costs, housing supply, and buyer demand. These are the four factors that combined to create the last real estate boom of 2020 through 2022. Supply is going to continue to decrease until the cost of borrowing also decreases. If the cost of borrowing decreases though, demand will likely increase. This creates a feedback loop, which makes the trajectory of the real estate market easy to forecast. Whatever does happen, this is not gonna happen overnight. So don't run out and buy the first house, townhome, or condo for sale. This is gonna take six to eight months for buyers to see the cost of borrowing falling to a reasonable amount and for home prices to meet those home buyers' expectations. Some are calling this the great Canadian real estate adjustment. The adjustment is not in home prices, but the home buyer's borrowing expectations. Canadians were accustomed to a much higher interest rate a generation ago, and you've seen people posting about what they were paying in the 80s when uh, the prime lending rate was around, or no, over 20%. Now, this was around the time I was born, and recently mortgage rates were extremely low, and they'll never be as low as they were in the recent past. But the posturing from the Bank of Canada reflects the fact that we're going to see decreases in the near future. As home buyers adjust to rates and the market progresses, we'll see another increase to home prices due to all the contributing factors. These peaks and valleys have been happening for the last 50 years and will continue to do so. Market factors are entirely out of your control and to occupy your mind with this nonsense is a waste of time. My advice is to escape the big cities, live somewhere warm and surround yourself with nature. With that in mind, I hope you get to live the island life soon. And if you want to learn more about doing so, I would definitely check out this video right here or this video right here.